Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Went Outdoors Cooking? Cooking show? Yeah. I don't know. Nothing fancy, just like everybody does every night at home, at their own house. It's comfortable, nothing fancy, like I said. We got a venison backstrap, right? I split this in two. Been marinating all day in some uh, Montreal steak seasoning. I did slice up the other half of it, uh, little chunks, Montreal steak seasoning, which we're going to deep fry. We had it up at bear camp this year. I think that's the first time I ever had deep fried venison and it was phenomenal. So we're gonna try that again. I also have some goose tenderloin, they call it. I don't know. It's that little strip of tender meat inside the goose breast. We got a bunch of geese last weekend with Leroy and the boys. And I'm going to make jerky out of the goose breast, but these look like they're too good of meat to uh, make jerky out of. So we're gonna maybe uh, deep fry? maybe we'll deep fry them, huh? Yeah. Or we could grill a couple or whatever. A little bowl. Like little bowl. Let's just try it. Like grill three or like tr yeah. test them half and half. Exactly. See try which it. One's better. So the boys are going to. Uh, we got the butter. We always do with the. Bacon. We're gonna bacon wrap that thing. Maybe we'll put something in the middle. I don't know, some onion or something. Peyton's gonna Please. cut up an onion. And then we always sear it on the grill and then baste it. We put it off the heat, off the direct heat in the pan and let that simmer, basting it with butter and onions. Let it cook nice and slow. All right, yeah. well, let's get to work. All right, the boys got the backstrap stuffed with onions and bacon, wrapped in bacon, seasoned. Here's our venison chunks of backstrap and our goose, goose tenderloin, I guess it'd be. Grill's nice and hot. The deep fryer is going, so I think we have to sear the backstrap first, the bacon wrap, right? Yeah. Get and that then... seared up, because these ain't gonna take long at all. No. These are very, very quick. So we'll get that going and get that simmering on this side with the butter and onions concoction right there. And once that's cooking over here off the heat, or off the high heat, then we can start deep frying. All right, let's put that on. Dad, it's gonna sizzle. Are we gonna um? I put this is the hot. Put it right in the middle there. Yeah, it's sizzling nice, huh? Problem with the grilling, the uh, bacon wrap stuff on the grill, is it sticks to it, right? Yeah, it but it's fine. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. But if now, if we have to, when we turn it, it's going to be sticking down. But we got toothpicks in, and we try and get it to stay as much as possible. But but every time we've done this, it's so good, right? Yeah. 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 All right, we got a flame up. We got bacon grease. Flame it up. Just roll that over. All right. See, it's starting to come off a little bit. It's all good. Looks nice and charred though. It looks good. He's gonna get all that nice sear on that thing. There you go. Sizzle, sizzle. Okay. Now we're gonna add the butter and onions. Let that that melt. Let's get this moved a little bit. Whoa! Let's let that simmer down now. Yeah. Whoa. It's bacon falling off this thing thing. Yeah. I'm not too concerned about it because all that bacon grease is going into the meat right now. Okay. Bacon pretty much all fell off, but it's still I can smell it really good. Burn. Um just put it in there. Yeah, just set it right in there. Right in the middle. And then we're gonna baste that thing and cook it slow. Let's see if it's it should be hot. Alright, put it on there. It won't take long. Put it on there. Alright, good. Alright. It's been like a minute, right? Yeah, I'll help it. Yeah, we should push that forward. Yeah. Take out that little piece of it. You need a knife. Get a knife. Cut that out of the way. Oh yeah. That looks good. 
it's perfect. A little red in the middle. See, it doesn't take long. That was like a minute. Not even. Try it. Is it hot? Pretty good. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, here we go, he says. That's enough. It might be my new favorite way oh, yeah. of cooking medicine. This is just literally Montreal seasoning, huh? And you deep fried it. That's good. Yeah. See, now that might have even cooked. No, it's a little pink yet. Try it. Let me try some. Let me try this piece right here. <laughs> oh, that's good. Alright, my new favorite way. That's good. Yeah. Alright, let's baste it. Let's baste her. It's sizzling nicely. All over the top. Cool, 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 cool. They smell good. I can smell yeah, they're them. they're amazing. Rest and then put some turkey in. Or, uh, goose. turkey. Goose. Some goose. Goose, not turkey. Yeah. Could shoot a turkey still. Maybe we'll get one this fall. Yeah, which I want to. Here, let's just put a couple. Put it in the back more, though. Put three pieces of uh, goose tenderloin on there just to get a sear on there. And then we're going to put it in the onion butter mixture. The rest will deep fry. One right. more. Yeah, one more. One more? Alright, we're going to do four. Peyton's going to fry. Is it hot? Yes. Yeah. You had some of the deep fried up north, didn't you? Did I? I don't... It was really good. It was really good. Try it. Take a bite. It's going to be really no, hot. It's not. It's just not take a little, little, little nibble. Just a little nibble. Looks good, though. Really good. Yeah, mom would even like this stuff. Have her try a piece. Let's say it's getting a little sear on there. Huh? What's this? I think that's the perfect amount of sear. What if we check that? Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna throw some goose, goose tenderloin in there. Put the goose in there in the butter. There you go. Put a little piece of goose. Chewy, but it's chewy, yeah. Goose, kind, kind of, kind yeah, of. Yeah, goose usually is. That's why it's it's hard to. Yeah, but it looks pretty good. Yeah. But let that go for a little longer because it's bit just long. yeah. Those that's why goose piece. is tough. It's chewy. That's why it's going to be good. Good jerky. Marinade right now. We'll do it on the dehydrator tomorrow. It looks like it's. I think it's cooked. We can probably pull them out. Oh. There's one on the ground. It's okay. You're gonna eat that one. Yeah. Yeah, you are. You have to. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. It went in the knot dirty yeah, part. Star of the show is right here. Slowly cooking. Even the like, goose looks good in there, huh? Yeah. Basting it up. Alright, baby. Turn it on. Stick it in that chunk of meat one. We'll How see hot what should it, it be? I don't know. 140. So here's the grilled goose, marinated in butter and onions, right? Slow cook. This is even better. Is it? It's really it's good. good. Let me give me a me. piece. Me too. Yeah, give Peyton a piece. Your greasy oh. hands. Let me try one of these. Here. You want this whole thing? That's actually very tender. Yeah, it is. Very. And unbelievably Whoa. good. I can actually say this is a little bit better than, like, the, the deep fried. Yes. It doesn't taste gamey or nothing. No, it's really tender. It's good. Hmm. I think th these are done. Hmm. Let's take them off. Yeah. Take them off. 
the bacon wrapped venison backstrap we got deep fried venison backstrap we have grilled and deep fried turk or grilled goose and then tenderloin and deep fried goose tenderloin all of them are phenomenal right it's hard to get phenomenal a, it's hard to like you can't really remember cuz we yeah. don't really go goose hunting so you think it's like more like turkey i keep saying turkey yeah i know, I know. Because it looks kind of like turkey meat, too. All right. Smaller. And we got all this because we went outdoors. Let's go eat.